Welcome to Reddit on Reddit, the internet's auditory version of Reddit. I'm Nelson Allingham, joined by Michael Cambo Campbell. You better look out, Nelson. I am on a high still. I'm in party mode because I've just come mm. from a second birthday. Well, it was so, all that fairy bread, wasn't it? Yeah. I, this is one of the things that makes you know you're getting older, mm-hmm. which is like you have one or two small things on a party table and you're like, oh, that's too much sugar. Uh, I'm really going <laughs> to yeah. crash now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, fairy bread is just sugar on bread. Yeah, yeah sugar on carbs. They, and like it, white bread, like sugary bread. The worst bread possible yeah. is um, is traditional for the fairy bread. Um, yeah, I think that's true. Yeah, my tolerance of sugar. Actually, even when I was, I was younger, I was a weird kid. Yeah, you've never been like, that, that much too much sweet sugar, tooth, yeah. I never used to eat cakes and stuff. Actually, now I do. Do you know what? Do you know what got me uh, into sugar more? Is if this part of my life didn't happen, I probably would just still be- eat very limited sugar. Is I started dating somebody and I got legitimately very fat <laughs> this <laughs> relationship because she was like, oh, I feel like chocolate. Let's go get like a block of chocolate and from like the server or the gas station down the road and come back and just eat it. And she would say that frequently. <laughs> so <laughs> I'd say like multiple times yeah. in a week. And then uh, and, and then I got fat. And then that, people were like, hey, you got fat. And I was like, what? How did that happen? I don't even know. That was your and relationship point, with uh, Linda Cabri. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> she always used to say, yes, yes. And we were paying for the, <laughs> for the <laughs> chocolate. I don't know what that was about. But anyway. Well, you were paying. Yeah, I was, I was paying, yeah. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yes, anywho, um, let's get into it, Cambo. This first Reddit on Reddit was in, I uh, was cross-posted, it was by Gone Fish Caking, and it was in the subreddit News of the Weird, which I haven't heard before, uh, but it was originally by Horace Walking. Disney says man can't sue over wife's death because he agreed to Disney plus terms of service. (laughs) Yeah. Did did you hear about this? This was a few weeks ago now. As always, we're coming at things nice and light. We wait things to temper down. I know. Even as I... Even as I put this on, I was like, oh, I think this is pretty old. But, oh, well, I'll just, I'll just <laughs> Once everyone anyway. else has had a say, then we'll yeah. chime in. Then we like to put that. Because as they say, the final say yeah. is the biggest say. <laughs> so. And you're not going to believe it. We're on Disney's side. So yeah. buckle yeah. up. Actually, I have to admit there is an element of this that I understand from Disney's point of view. Not the terms of service stuff. That's... But like, fuck. <laughs> they were like, no, no, no. You said you can't sue us ever. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, there was, there was, a, there's a few things to this actually that I think is like important to yeah. point out or understand. Mm-hmm. Uh, because I did, uh, this is one of those ones where I was like, I can't just go by the title. Yeah. I need to read a little bit more. It's, it's just actually a bit too, too strange. sensational to just go by the title. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, um uh one of the things was uh this happened at a Disneyland. Yeah. But Disneyland uh it, doesn't technically own all of the restaurants yes. in it, its Disneyland. It rents them out just like yeah. Specifically I think it happened in a downtown Disney, which is actually Outside of the park, but in the surrounding area where all the restaurants and stuff are. Yeah, right. Yeah. So not even within the park, but within yeah. the downtown Disney area, outside the yeah. park, which technically they do. Yeah, yeah, they that's right. Mistaken. Yeah. And um, and what I thought was important, uh, and the the bit that I kind of defend Disney from, is that they wanted to make sure that they were not getting sued for something that was essentially the restaurant's fault. Yeah. Like they're like, you can sue the restaurant yeah, because they, you know, were the, the ones who had this issue or whatever, but, um, oh, because the woman died because of, uh, allergy. Yeah. I think, right? allergy, I think anaphylaxis. Yeah. And so, um, yeah, I, I think 
that to me made sense. It was kind of like they were using this clause as a, look, let's make sure, like, rather than even attempt to be taken to court or, you know, or risk being taken to court because the family's going to try and lash out at Disneyland too when we're not involved. Let's just bring up this thing so that it doesn't even get that far. Uh, To me, I kind of understood that in a weird way Mm -hmm. because the thing is, if somebody had a dad in the park from, you know, like maybe just one of the, I don't know, vending machines, something that's like very definitely Disney's 100% fault, then I don't think Disney would try and get out of it. Yeah. That would be really dumb. I think they were like, no, no, this literally doesn't have to do with us. We were just adjacent to some degree. So let's make sure you're not suing us. Um, and, uh, and the other thing is that the clause in Disney Plus, and I don't know the specifics exactly, but yeah, the the idea is like yes, you couldn't sue them, but there is still arbitration yeah, to some it's, degree. It's not that it's impossible to sue them; it's that they have the right to take things straight to arbitration. Yeah, and um, and and it's a neutral party. Yes, a, it's not like Disney owns the judge or whatever, or, you know, the arbitrator. The so, judge isn't goofy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see that. Uh, actually, Disney's in the right. <laughs> and you owe their money. <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I think those those are two things that are kind of important about this. It's not a get-out-of-jail-free card for yeah. Disney whenever they do something wrong at their services. Uh, but uh, perhaps aside from that, I guess. I don't know. What do you think of the... Um, of this idea that Disney has this clause yeah. that is all encompassing <laughs> for their business and however you might interact with them. I have two specific thoughts. Um, one is that I think I'm a little bit biased, not too much, but in the past I have had to work with Disney before and yeah. I know what they're like and they're mm. not fun. Yeah. Yeah. They are the- <laughs> of all of the movie studios, Disney yeah. are the hardest to work with. Yeah. By far. So I understand that they, they, they like, are very particular about their brand. Right. And like, as a like, whole. like rule with an iron fist kind of company. Like yeah. it is their way or the highway kind of company. So because they know if it's slipped because they are at the top yeah. with all the franchises that they have, yeah. they are at the top and they were like, if we let this slip, we will, you yeah. know, be in trouble. So we'll make the maximum amount of money, rule the line first. So in that way, when I, when I heard it, because I've, I've heard them propose other things to people I know for like campaigns and stuff where I'm like, Jesus, that's, that's yeah. too far. Like <laughs> they want yeah. too much. Um, the other thing is, the, the, what I think is particularly draconian about this is not only did this, this guy sign up to Disney Plus and then agree to the terms of, service which did it it wasn't it was a free trial yeah he was yes, signing up for a free like, trial and yeah. just by doing that they're like sorry buddy that's it you have agreed to absolutely everything which yeah. i think there is uh, around things like this i know that sometimes judges will say is it reasonable that someone yeah. would expect this in a term of service and if not if if it is hidden in language opaque enough yeah. Then there is a case to be like people actually don't reasonably understand what they're signing up for. Yeah. And you yeah. take advantage of that by putting it in there, probably in a clause as part of an amendment kind of thing, you know, like Yeah. Especially because you would assume when signing the terms of service to a streaming service that the terms will have to do with watching TV, exactly. basically. Like, <laughs> you know, like you this. <laughs> we're purchasing a ticket to Disneyland, and there's a terms yeah. of service to that. There's prob- I'm sure there's probably a clause in there that says, by agreeing to this, if you were to be injured at the park or something like that, we will be covered. And you yeah. understand, okay, well, that relates to what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. But t- to watch a season of The Mandalorian and mm. therefore to give up the right at a yeah. park for something else. Yeah, that's that's a whole different thing. Yeah, pretty different. Um, yeah, it's it's uh, 
it's really yeah. so, interesting that they've got this in there. That being said, I do I agree with your reasoning, which is like it's not actually technically Disney's fault. The restaurant yeah. wasn't owned by Disney. It did happen to be in a Disney area, but they are not the people responsible for the safe service of food. Yeah, at that mm-hmm. particular thing. So, to you as well, I agree that they are like this. Actually, isn't to do with us. Mm. But the way that they got out of it was by this like a loophole yeah, pretty... that alerted the world <laughs> to yeah. be like, wait, I'm sorry, you're doing what with your terms of service? Yeah. Like they should have given them a couple of free passes anyway, you know? <laughs> do you Just... know what I think people should actually do now? If you're doing something like that and you have a terms of service, I would put it into chat GPT. Yeah. Say, read these and then I've got questions for you and answer. <laughs> and I, I think you should be like, tell me things in these terms of service that seem unusual to you. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure they would have been like, oh, you actually can't. Yeah. Or like, what What? Did, what am I legally agreeing to? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would be hard. But they, then ChatGPT will just like spit out a almost as long terms and conditions. But I think if you like, said, oh, no. please simplify in dot points <laughs> yeah. all the major things that I am legally agreeing to with this terms of service. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's true. Do you know, one thing I thought was interesting, and I don't understand how the law works in this way, right, is that the, is it about who is responsible for suing who when somebody dies, Mm. okay? Because they're saying, right, so the husband is the one suing, and he was the one who accepted the terms and conditions. But, so, but if the wife didn't accept the terms and conditions mm. and but he is kind of like suing on behalf of the wife mm. and then it's like well okay if he didn't sue like could the parents sue mm. because he's not they might have you know in this example didn't sign that terms of service so i don't understand how that works as well where they're like uh, you're you're the one that accepted this terms of service and you're the one that's like currently in the process of trying to serve, so you can't. But if the parents are turned around and are like, well, that's our daughter. Yeah. We haven't signed a terms of service. We're going to see. Can that happen? I don't, I don't know. Imagine if this is what he came up with. So he's like, I'm going to go around and talk to her parents. And he yeah. gets to their house and they're watching like WandaVision. He's like, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> no. But then also you would you have to wonder the service is surely only one person can accept the terms of service. Mm. Like sure. so whoever's account it is. Which is why, you know, it could be interesting that if um the Disney Plus service, um, the the lady who died, if she was the one in their household that signed up to that that test or whatever and um and she was the one that accepted it it's so true because it's just i, I just don't I, like i don't so know I'm, trying, I'm getting to like a wormhole right yeah. of well, like complication it's so, but... it's so true what you're saying because if if he had been the one that died and then his yeah. wife sued them you know yeah. they would have gone ah oh, but he signed the terms of service signed it. so yeah. therefore you can't yeah. sue on behalf of him because he actually agreed to this. Yeah, but that's as right. soon as it's him suing, it's like, well, you can't sue you because yeah. you signed the terms of service. Yeah, and I just don't know who has the right to. Sue, Disney basically. has the right, Nelson. <laughs> yeah, like because couldn't you also think right? Because sometimes in cases of like public negligence, right? It's that you have the you have those cases where it's like the people versus yeah. Disney or something yeah. or whatever, and you'd you'd think that okay maybe not in this case again because it was mainly the restaurant, but in something similar, at what point does like an entity yeah take over the suing process and therefore has the entity ever had you know Disney? But I mean everybody does, so obviously we're all screwed. But <laughs> um, there just could be a circumstance I imagine where. You, it, it's just irrelevant that anyone has signed that terms of service, whatever. Anywho, um, I think we should move on, Cambo, and get into Ask Reddit. This Ask Reddit is by Creepy Intention 837. What 
free things online should everyone take advantage of? Oh, it's a good question. I love a little freebie hack as well. So yeah, I always love going through things like this. I did think of one, which I'm a yep. bit of a hypocrite because I feel like I also don't use this as much. Yeah. But um, libraries. Like <laughs> yeah. libraries online offer you so many things. Yeah. So like also there are libraries in real life. Also libraries in real resources. life as well. <laughs> yeah. um, I was actually just talking to someone the other day about just like how amazing libraries are. Cause I was saying when I was young and I was getting into music, one of the ways I would discover music is I would just go to the library mm. and borrow a bunch of CDs. Yeah. And in those days you just ripped them onto iTunes and then you had the CD. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it, like I got so much more music just by going to the library mm. and now, obviously, every library district is different, but in Australia, there is a streaming service that is you connect your library card number and mm. you can just watch TV shows and movies for free as yeah. part of the streaming service. And they change every so often and they get new stuff on. And they've got good, interesting stuff on there. It's not yeah, just yeah. like royalty free, whatever, you know, that yeah. they don't have to pay for. <laughs> There's actual legitimate good stuff on there. Yeah. As well as audiobooks, um, digital comics. Like, there's so much free stuff you can get through the library online. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. Um, actually. And uh, if you actually, if you do agree to the terms of service, mm. you actually owe them one of your organs at any time that they choose. Yeah. 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 God forbid you're the same blood type <laughs> as one of the owners of the library. <laughs> Uh, but, uh, yeah, I thought, well, for, for me, I wanted to point out one that's like super obvious that I don't think comes up that often, which is YouTube. <laughs> like yeah. YouTube as a free resource is insane. Yeah. I, um, although I have to admit, I use it less now, but, uh, prior to chat GPT, really, I, would always go to YouTube as a learning resource because there are so many people that put out video. I, I just feel like you could learn literally everything yeah. on YouTube. I um, would there's say a video for everything. Back when I went to film school, it was worth it. Now yeah. I just don't know because there's so much amazing resource on YouTube yeah. that I've learned so much more since leaving film school. The one thing film school will give you is people like-minded people to connect with. Yeah, that's true. And yeah. they, you can use their equipment, which you can't always do at home. But there are just entire filmmaking courses on YouTube that are of the quality of everything I've learned and yeah. beyond. And yeah. they're continually updated. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's like now there's this new resource and stuff that, you know, a yeah. few years afterwards that can replace something that you learned those yeah. many years ago. And I, I know for certain, I've mentioned this on the show before, but um, during the pandemic when gyms were closed and stuff like that, and Stacey and I were like, well, we want to we wanna exercise in some way. Let's do um, yoga. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> we just typed it in. And there was an entire free 30-day yoga course where yeah. their video plays each day, completely free. They're about 30 minutes long, yeah. professionally filmed, yeah. follow along. It's like, this is incredible that this is just free. Yeah. You can just do this. Yeah. It's insane. It's so good. Um, but uh, do you know what I really used to grind my gears? <laughs> is when I would go into a tutorial video because I, I was obviously using it a lot for like data analysis yeah. stuff. So like Excel things or whatever. And um, the biggest gripe I had was when people would start the video and then they'd be like, hello, welcome to my channel. Yeah. And then like a three minute intro graphic. And then they would be like, right, you want to do X in Excel. Mm -hmm. Well, Let's start by first opening, opening the yeah, program. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And I'm like, I'm fucking looking up some complicated shit. Okay. There is no way a beginner is looking at this here yeah. and being like, how do I do this? Um, so 
Uh, yeah, I used to hate those ones. I had this idea for a while. I think I might have told you about this like years ago <laughs> where I was going to create a YouTube channel called uh, Tutorials for Not Idiots or something like that, just something a bit dumb, where they were, and, and again, specifically for things like Excel, where people are like searching terms, as an example, right, yeah. like a formula, like VLOOKUP, very common formula, you know, if you were to search that up, you would guaranteed at least a five minute video but i'm like that's like one minute of explanation to me like how you know i want i want the like really simple because i feel like there would just be a big audience out there for the like i'm gonna search for this term and if i see that channel name come up the tutorials will not hear this i'm gonna click that one because i know that it's you know, really quick and easy, like it just exactly what I yeah. need kind of thing. Yeah. I always, um, I always end up going by runtime of the video. There was one yeah. the other day where I had to make some text look metallic in Photoshop. Yeah. And I'd, I've done it before and I was like, oh, I don't remember which filter you start with. Yeah. So I typed in make text look metallic. And I remember specifically there was two tutorials that popped up at the top yeah. One was 16 minutes and one was yeah. four minutes. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, okay, the one that's four minutes is just going to get to it. And yeah. It's going to yeah. quickly explain how to do this. Yeah. And don't you find even those ones, I'm still like, cool, I'm going to scrub like a third of the way through the video. Yeah. Yeah, then, yeah. Like even then it's yeah. still, you know, not quite right. Um, but now actually like legitimately I use chat GPT for a lot of that stuff now because it's easier to put in context of like what I'm doing, right? Mm. Because I mean, I'm not sure if it's the same for professional or whatever you might be doing, but let's say uh, I'm reaching an example here, but there might be slight differences for if you're doing 2D versus 3D and like a Mm. artwork, right? And so you search something and they can only, you can only find YouTube videos of like the 2D stuff because it's more common. And you're like, I just, need like that but like for a 3d element and normally you just type in chat with ggbt exactly what you need and it's like so very specific occasionally if i'm still confused i'll be like i need to actually like see the menus of the program that i'm using or something then i'll go into youtube um and, and but then i might be able to be more specific about my search terms too depending on how uh, much I know about the subject already or, or don't know, um, you know, like, uh, in fact, I did it the other day for, I was using unity, which is like the gaming programming thing. Um, and there was a particle system thing and I, I couldn't work out this one thing. And so I went to chat GPT and it gave me like these step-by-step instructions, but I know, um, you know, ChatGPT doesn't always keep up with the version of the program that you've got. And I think I was like, it must just be slightly off here, but it gave me a search term about um, like, I don't know, the curvature of something. And so then I was able to Google that or YouTube that and then find the exact right video. And I was like, oh, this, it's so good. Yeah. It's so perfect. <laughs> anyway, um, uh, I was going to quickly go through yeah, let's still do it yeah. because I feel like this is valuable. I was going to quickly go through uh, what some other people have mentioned on this post. Uh, the first is the top voted one was the Internet Archive mm. should be regarded as one of the seven wonders of the information age. Yeah. Yes. I have to admit, it is for something that is free. I think it's free or it's uh, not for profit. Yeah, I, I believe you can donate to it. Right, things. yeah. yeah. Uh, you can tell when something is not for profit versus uh, money, 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 because <laughs> it is really hard to navigate that website. Yeah, search is, is worse than Reddit, insane. and that's saying something. That is saying something. Uh, it's insanely hard. But anyway, it just has a lot of stuff on there. I think you were talking about before, like you know, books and uh, audio book and yeah. videos and yeah. games and things like that. It's just, it just has. There, there was like this everything. entered my realm not long ago, but there was a, um, an animated Popeye movie uh, yeah. that got scrapped, but they had done the complete animatic, which means yeah. they'd kind of like pre-animated everything. You could, you can watch an animatic technically. Yeah. 
Um, and that leaked, and it just lives on the Internet Archive. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. can just watch this entire film that never came out. Yeah, that's like, right. It's that's crazy. Right. And then um, there are also versions of this I've since discovered in years where they just preserve uh, video games, just realms of video games. Yeah. Where it's like, you know, oh, this game is not available anywhere in the world. And you can't buy it. The system yep. to play it on is not manufactured and hard to get. But someone has stored it. I think it's coming up actually as a suggestion. I'll get to it because I did look on that website <clears throat> and I was like, well, this is so cool. I would never play any of these games. Yeah. <laughs> but it's They're nice all that DOS games that just someone run is preserving them. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's nice. That's nice. Uh, that was by one Estelle one, by the way. Uh, I peaked at nine years old. <laughs> oh, okay. Peaked. I thought it meant like yeah. I peaked at a nine year old. That's what I thought it said. Anyway, I peaked at nine years old. Yes, they spelled peaks wrong. They, they, it, it makes yeah, it creepy. Yep. That's why it's creepy. Yeah, okay, good. Anyway, uh, temp mail for one. You can make unlimited, free, completely disposable emails just at the click of the button. That is actually really genius and super. Just like type temp email in Google and you can go to the first site. Because, you know, some sites where they're like, we'll sign. give you this thing free that you need to sign up. Yeah. And you're like, I'm never going to use this service again. I want this one thing from that website. So, yeah, use a temp email. Yep. You get like an inbox. It's literally perfect for those times where it's like, we're going to send you an email right now. You click yeah. the confirm button. Yeah, it's like 15% it's so off if you sign up for this sale. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, although, you know what? Now I've just... Because I so very rarely get important emails <laughs> and Google is relatively good, not when it comes to our podcast email, but uh, when my personal email, it's pretty good at categorizing advertising yeah. into like a different folder. Yeah. Then I'm like, whatever, I'll sign out. I'm just, I will never see your emails. I'll probably get them, but they'll go to, you know, the other part and I don't really need my emails or anything else. So anyway, uh, Bandicoot SVK. This is the one. Abandonware Games uh, is what it's called. And it just has a ton of DOS, old DOS. Oh, mainly DOS games. But I mean, it's got like Windows game stuff with uh, decent graphics. The one that comes up the most is the Oregon Trail. Yeah. Game. Do you remember that? Yeah, when you I were remember a kid? that. Yeah. I like clicked on a couple of, uh, yeah. Yeah. you know, a couple of links. And that was like at the top of the most popular. I, I must like, say, I enjoy yeah. there's a comment here from Super Tramp Tramp Stamp says, I can finally play Leisure Suit Larry without getting busted by my parents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So good. So good. Uh, sunny Classroom. If you want to learn computer networking, super bright professor who has underappreciated tricks for things like memorizing subnets. I had a look at this too. Oh, that was by Dread Phase. I had a look at this too. Uh, it's just a YouTube channel, I think. Right. Um, it was super confusing, I yeah. thought. Even just reading like, oh, what would the title of some of the videos I might be interested in? And I was like, you know what? Turns out I know even less than, uh, you know, computer networking than I thought. And I can't even start a video one. <laughs> but hey, if you want to learn that stuff, I'm sure it's, uh, I'm sure it's very good. Uh, and yeah, let's say, oh, there's like Khan Academy. Oh, there's actually one that goes into a lot of uh, detail. It actually puts a table together of like what the resources are. People have put um, uh, like learning course uh, websites out there that have yep. mostly free stuff. So there's Khan Academy that is out there. Of course, there are academic, uh, academic Earth, Udacity. Um, well, one I... that I was going to mention actually is yeah. Code Academy or yeah. Code Academy for computing and programming. That's where I first learned to start programming. Yeah. It was like, easy it's it's very it, it's it quickly tries to get you onto the paid courses but from what it did teach you at the start i thought it was very um, valuable can i say two one in your world one in mine the one maybe slightly more in your world is obs yeah obs mm -hmm. is just a free bit of software that every streamer in the world uses to do live stream gaming and yeah, all kinds of stuff true. i forgot about just that. completely free yeah uh, and the mm -hmm. other one is a uh, vlc player it's just a video player that will play anything you throw at it, no matter yeah. what. Like yeah. Apple have QuickTime, Windows have Media Player, all this kind of stuff. VLC yeah. blows all of them out of the water, and it's just it's free. I once put a banana into my USB drive, and yeah. it played it. There was a movie on that. Yeah. <laughs> it was George of the Jungle. <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, all right, Kevin, we should move on to Today I Advise. So now it's time for... 
Today I learned. And also sometimes advice. I'll just do a quickie here because yeah, we're, it's like pretty late. We're running, we're running a bit behind. Yeah. Okay, this is by Watton. Uh, today I learned Mozart died at 35 and wrote 800 pieces. 22 pieces every year he lived. Yeah, which is even crazy to think. That's 22 pieces for every year he lived. He lived. But he didn't yeah. start... At, at one, one. No, he did start oh. early, didn't he? He started like five with probably pretty young, twinkle, 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 still, star or whatever it is. Yeah, yeah, still, yeah. that's pretty impressive. I mean, even just twenty-two pieces in one year is just seems insane. Because the truth is, Mozart. He, I don't know if you know this, Kevin. Yeah. Mozart was kind of a genius. Kit, do, okay. okay. It's Question. not like rubbish stuff. He didn't do. He didn't come up with the knuckle playing on the. Top well, of the here's my question. 800 pieces, some of them are regarded as masterpieces of classical music. Yeah. But is this a, 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 like a testament to if you just keep going, eventually you'll hit? Because not all 800 of his pieces are seen as bona fide classical music pieces. I'm sure yeah. there are some out there that are like, oh, yeah, this is kind of whatever. But he just yeah. kept going so much that, you know, if if one in 50 hit, yeah. Well, he's got 800, so suddenly he's got, you know, yeah, this he's multitude gonna, of classic songs. Um, yeah, I think uh, that's probably true. It's like, you know, I feel like there's some of those uh, comedians, off and on, I will say breakfast radio, yeah. where <laughs> their style of comedy is they just talk mm-hmm. really fast, constantly, until they get a joke. Yeah, <laughs> I think that, that could be Mozart's approach. He's like, <laughs> I'm just going to... Whack as much stuff as I yeah. can until something hits, you know. Eventually. You're saying he's the Dave Hughes of classical music. Yeah, it's, it's you know what? Actually, I think Dave Hughes is surprisingly is better than that. I yeah. think there's some worse people out there. That yeah. Are, uh, yeah, um, at least Dave Hughes is actually a comedian, like a successful yeah, yeah. comedian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, that could be uh, Mozart's right. What's that? What's that thing where it's like if you put a hundred monkeys on typewriters, uh, eventually? <laughs> well, yeah, I think it's infinite monkeys. <laughs> infinite monkeys on infinite typewriters. One of them will eventually write the entire works of Shakespeare. Yeah, something like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it anyway, was the best of times. It was the blurst of times. The blurst of times. Uh, anyway, that's funny. Uh, <laughs> Uh, yes, probably that's true that, uh, there's not a lot of Mozart bits out there, but, uh, I do think like, I think I remember this, uh, there was like a, a piano off by Mozart and who else around that time? Mm, can't remember the lesser known Mozart yeah, yeah, man. The guy that the movie Amadeus is about. Uh, I don't know. Um, isn't that about Mozart's rival? Is it? Yeah, maybe. So. I don't know. <laughs> this is how much I know about Mozart. But anyway, I think they were saying, um, yeah, they had like a piano off, and Mozart would would was just improvising, like to an insane degree. Would grab the other guy's work, flipped it upside down, started playing it, and then improvising on top of it. And I was like, man, that is so incredible. Like that level of musical genius, I feel like probably just doesn't happen anymore i think we're not in the world like i I feel like if you are brought up in a way where you are you have like this one thing this one central thing that's you know uh sort of drilled into you a little bit at a young age we we just don't have that because we have we have access to the rest of the world and so much stuff that like you don't get this honed ability anymore by any one person not saying that there aren't like incredibly talented people that that yeah um can come up with brilliant music but i think to the degree of someone like mozart i feel like it's almost impossible uh anymore yeah this, and that's where we are conspiracy theory time nelson oh I'm up do for you it. think it's possible first of all are you familiar with the movie yesterday uh no in which the whole world forgets who the Beatles are except for this one guy. Oh, yeah. We spoke about this like not that long yeah. ago. Yeah. 
do you think Mozart experienced some kind of yesterday situation? Oh. Where there was all these composers that made all this wonderful music. Oh and then God. something happened and the whole world forgot. And he was like, oh, my God, I could do all that now. Whoa, that's blown my mind, Cameron. That's probably it. Yeah, he's, he's probably you've... living a yesterday situation. I think that's it. That's uh, how you've done it. That's like we were talking about a few weeks ago, that same idea of like if you could relive your life. Yeah. So I think that's where we brought up the Beatles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Movie <laughs> um, But yeah, could you do it? And because he started at such a young age too, that makes me think like that's exactly what happened. <laughs> anyway. 22 a year, unsustainable for the average man. Unsustainable. Uh, all right, Campbell, let's move into shower thoughts. Shower thoughts, 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 shower thoughts, 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 shower thoughts, 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 shower thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. This shower thought is by at work was already take. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is just like a nonsense username. Anyway, if Disney can't be sued by customers who have used Disney Plus, they have no financial incentive to keep their park rides safe. <laughs> no financial incentive at all. No, yeah, no, no. No, 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 Well, no. yes. I mean, as we discussed earlier, not exactly what happened. But I was actually saying to someone, I think maybe at a, a dinner that you and I were both with, that what keeps me <laughs> like calm whenever I'm lining up for a really big roller coaster at somewhere like Disneyland that looks quite scary yeah. So I'm like, oh, the absolute hell that would happen if I died here for them. Yeah. They would yeah. make sure it's safe. That That's what I was uh, yeah, sort of talking about at the start. Like, yeah. if Disney was actually responsible for a death, oh, yeah. you would, your, you and your family would get so much money. <laughs> they would be like, please don't take us to court. Yeah. Please have all, have a Disneyland. We've got this one. <laughs> have uh, the Florida one. I don't know. We've got, yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, I, I think this is really funny to think that because they've got this clause, somebody's like, they don't even have to keep their rides safe. Like, yeah, they absolutely want to keep their rides safe because as soon as somebody dies on a Disney, I think they would lose millions, if not billions of dollars of people being fearful for all Disneyland rides all over the world. They're, as if there is no financial incentive to keep people safe. That is such an insanely dumb idea <laughs> that they have this one clause in their terms and conditions. They're like, oh, well, we could just be, you know, folly with uh, people's lives now. It just doesn't, <laughs> doesn't even matter anymore. <laughs> uh, totally insane. Anyway, I think it's one of these things, right, where people just... Like they latch on to this yeah. idea of like evil big corporation. Yeah, yeah. They think our lives are worthless yeah, to them. Like, they don't even care. It's evil big corporation, but like smart. Yeah, like they, smart. <laughs> they're smart enough to <laughs> yeah. know that you can't die in their park. Yeah. We had someone die in a park here in Australia and it fucked that park up. Yeah. And surrounding parks. And surrounding parks. Yeah. yeah. And, and I still think about it. I probably won't go there. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I will either. <laughs> yeah. 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 If someone um, said, I have free tickets to that park, I'd go, hmm. Yeah. I'd be yeah. like, for one, I'm not surprised you have free tickets. To yeah, 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 yeah. And to be clear, this is like the first person to ever die at that park in its history. But that's yeah. all it takes. Yeah. I'm surprised that it's still going. Although, actually, isn't it? I could be wrong here, and you might know better than I do, but isn't it maybe uh, technically affiliated with AMC or something like that? Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure like owned by a much bigger corporation because I was like, if that was even remotely independent, it would have surely shut down. But yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It definitely has big money backing it, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, which is insane. Anywho, uh, this next one is by Blood Knife 92 If you could stop time, you would not be able to see anything because light would stop moving. <laughs> Blood Knife 92 has really thrown a wrench into my plans. I know. My, my ultimate superpower ability. This is but, also, every now and again, there's a, like a movie or something that comes along and they put a really logical spin on something that's always been depicted mm. that makes you go, oh, okay, that's interesting. And I would love to see this depicted. There's a movie called Predestination. Yeah. And it's about people that can travel in time. Mm -hmm. But they have this really interesting kind of way to represent it is every time it happened, there's like this big pop and burst of air. 
And I was oh, like, yeah. oh, that's an interesting effect. But they, I remember them explaining like, if if a bo- if a mass is in a space, and then suddenly yeah. they aren't, there's going to be a build up of this pressure. That is so. This is going to sound like a lie, but I have independently had that. I have, before. yeah, yeah. But I I'm love- to, when I reckon when I was in primary school and I was thinking about this guy who teleports, and I was like, literally nothing has ever been there and then not been there. Yeah, before. So exactly. There must be this rush of force. I, I remember watching and being like, oh, that's really interesting. I've never considered that. Yeah. But it's true that that mm. would probably happen. And I think that would be an interesting one of like, oh, you can freeze time, to be clear. You have that yeah, power, yeah. but you yeah. won't see anything. Here's what I've realized is most of the time when I'm like, oh, if I can freeze time, it's because I've, I have want to sleep more. <laughs> But I have responsibilities at work. So I think I'd be fine. Yeah, yeah, wake yeah. up, freeze up. Oh, no, I can't see anything. Anyway, best sleep of my life. <laughs> You'd be early to everything. And yeah, well yeah. rested. Well rested, yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, this next one is... Nah, screw it. Let's get into pod napping. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I'm being pod napped. napping. This is my napping, where we nap a pod. We take a topic of conversation or a segment from another thing, and we do it ourselves. Just been a while since I've, um, I think, highlighted the intro to that being pretty irrelevant to the segment. <laughs> now, oh yeah, very, <laughs> yeah. Very rarely do we get a topic of conversation or a segment from another thing no, yeah. and do it ourselves. We've long it started since as gone through. We'll that. Do it, we steal from another podcast, yeah, and then that stopped happening. And we'll, we were stealing from other things. And then that has also stopped, stopped happening. We're just doing our own thing. <laughs> it's like little games. Anyway, I'm not going to change uh, the intro because I've struggled to change the yeah, outro. Yeah. and that's It's been, in your head now. It's in my head. It's staying that way. Uh, anyway, my week this week, and I have got, uh, because of the Disney Plus scandal, mm-hmm. I thought it'd be fun to get some terms and conditions that you have to decide uh, whether they are real or fake, true okay. or false. Okay. Uh, you might say I've got some questions here. Um, and uh, that's it. Okay. It's pretty simple. Yeah. yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Did Amazon's terms of service okay. include a clause forbidding its use during a zombie apocalypse? For So you can't use Amazon... Yeah. Services during a zombie apocalypse. Uh, yeah. Hmm. I would think that the only way you would add this in is if, like, they were producing, like, a Walking Dead style show and they've done it as a bit of a publicity thing to be like, oh, you know, like, mm. f- for example, um, Kenner Toys used to develop the toys for Star Wars mm. and. They had a really good case because they were a small manufacturer and Star Wars really blew up and Star Wars couldn't go to another manufacturer because as a yep. fun little bit in their in their contract they said, "Oh, we own the intergalactic rights to this." Yeah, as a fun <laughs> little reference. And then when when it blew up and they wanted to have other manufacturers, like, no no no, we have the intergalactic They were rights. screwed. Yeah. So, my thought was like it's not unbelievable that Yeah. That shows do this. Yeah. The problem is I can't think of an Amazon property that is zombie related. Mm. Like Walking Dead was AMC. The the Zack Snyder zombie films were Netflix. Mm. I'm going to say false. It was real, can oh. They were just having a bit of fun, I yeah, think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just a, just a, <laughs> Maybe false. Also, watch That's AMC. Really zombies, is it? <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that's true. Not, not right. Uh, I think this was a while ago too. I think that and it was a specific service. I just couldn't remember, so I just said all Amazon services. <laughs> anyway, uh, did Facebook's terms claim indefinite ownership of users' profile pictures even after they were deleted? Oh, that's so on brand for them to do. <laughs> yeah, I want to say that's true. It's fake, actually. Is it yeah, really? But, but it was a. Uh, it was actually spread. I think. I think this one is actually a rumor oh, that went yeah, out yeah. there that they did. 
because it is so believable. Yeah, <laughs> but, uh, yeah I mean, their, their me whole know. website started with just rating people's faces. Like, yeah. <laughs> having people's faces is a thing they're into. Yeah. Uh, do you reckon there's just a, this is all planned for like a crazy hot or not um, <laughs> website. There's a long game for Facebook. Well, and I mean, in 2050, they're going to be like, we, we've we got everybody's face all over the world. It's not <laughs> even know a... if you think they're hot or not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Imagine, because that's how they started, right? With face yeah. smash, I think it was called. Right, yeah. Imagine if that's, yeah, eventually like, we're back, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this time, it's everyone. Yeah. Uh... Okay, number three. <clears throat> Did Pokemon Go require users to waive liability if they were injured while playing? Oh, I reckon they did because there was a lot of people getting injured playing that game. People running into traffic and such. <laughs> yeah, yes, totally true. Yeah. They they did, uh, which also seems on brand. See, it, that term of service makes more sense. Oh, yeah, I completely way, understand why it. they did that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I reckon that was an amendment. Like yeah, after a yeah. week, they're like, we need to add something here. They, people are running yeah. into traffic. Even just in the play testing, they're yeah, like, yeah. oh my God, so many children have died already. <laughs> we should, uh... Uh, anyway, uh, number four, did a Wi-Fi provider include a hidden clause demanding users assign their firstborn child for internet access? Oh, um, I can't imagine that's real, but you never know with a, like an AT and T or something like that. What what does it mean? Provide their firstborn child for internet access, uh, as in they own your firstborn for the right to have access to the internet. They're not accessing the internet via the firstborn. <laughs> you stick an antenna in the firstborn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. This is our secret ba- technology. We've actually found babies are great for conducting signal. <laughs> yeah. We put them in one of your cupboards and uh, you get the best internet access. I'll say 56K. <laughs> from the vagueness of an internet company, I'll say false. That's real. Is it real? <laughs> I, uh, I, sorry, the questions perhaps are a little bit weird because I went through ChatGPT and I had to go through lots of different variations to get to the right wording. Uh, and I think originally it did have the company and it just somehow has dropped off. Uh, they did it, yeah, purely just as like a, will anybody read these terms or, yeah. terms and conditions and how many people accept it? But obviously probably wouldn't stand up in court. Yeah. But yeah, it was a real one. Uh, number five, did Spotify's terms allow the collection of sleep data to recommend songs based on users' sleep patterns? Oh, hmm. It's not screwing over artists, which is what they love to do most. <laughs> yeah. But it does seem like the kind of thing that they might. When, okay, but this would imply it collects sleep data from other things to be, like maybe from people's. Smart watches or something. Apps. Or even them phones themselves. Yeah, they're phones Because you know, I think there can be things that link. It's like when stuff links to your phone even, and it's like, we want to access the call history or yeah. the yeah. or uh, your Gmail account. It's like all the email address or something. Um, I reckon Spotify might have done this. No, it can be. It's fake. Not real. Not real. Kevin, I don't think you've got one yet. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, no, you got the Pokemon Go one. Okay. That's it. Yeah. Uh, Number six, did Apple's terms ban the use of iTunes for nuclear, chemical, or biological weapons development? I mean, depending on the year. (laughs) <laughs> you wouldn't do that in 2024 because I think they maybe shut iTunes down. Um, okay, I'm thinking the war on terror. Is okay. there something that could have been done with iTunes automated playlists hacked somehow? I'll it say would be to that. Duh, 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 duh. <laughs> That'd be an explosion. <laughs> yeah, right, the Valkyries. Um, I'll say yes. Uh, yes, it was true. Uh, they did put that in their terms and conditions. That seems like a mid 2000s thing, just to be safe. Yeah, there was a lot of uncertainty around nuclear weapons at that time. (laughs) Yeah, um, yeah, really weird and interesting. Uh, did a company's terms and conditions once include a clause stating that users must agree to not use their service for illegal activities, including but not limited to time travel? 
<laughs> Sorry, this is one's really vague, isn't it? Because I don't have the company's yeah. name. <laughs> and last time I was burnt by that, so I'm going to say, yes, it's true. <laughs> it is true. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, why? I didn't realize that time travel was considered an illegal activity. Um, not, maybe not if you're, you're doing illegal things for... with time travel. Yeah, but what if uh, you just uh, sleeping more, Cambo? <laughs> As I would, I time travel backwards, sleep more. Yeah, and time then... travel back eight hours, have another <laughs> yeah. eight hours. Yeah. Uh, anywho, uh, number eight. Did YouTube's terms grant unrestricted access to users' webcams for monitoring reactions while browsing? Oh, <laughs> it's so funny, right? When it's like a big company yeah. and something that you're like this they've probably worked out some sort of fucking loophole (laughs) yeah and And they're not watching everybody all the time but it was just enough i think about this so much because everyone i know that knows anything about tech does cover their webcam yeah i've heard that too like Like, all hackers and stuff are like no no no, you've got to cover it people not even that like so easily (laughs) i like every single person in our it department of my work covers their webcam yeah. Like you don't even need to be like we're super deep into it. And mm. I remember there was photos of some kind of tech conference and there was a few big tech people and people pointed out like Mark Zuckerberg had a bit of blue tech over his webcam. Yeah, yeah. It's like as mm. if somebody hasn't hacked into Mark Zuckerberg's yeah. webcam before. But also they clearly <laughs> know, oh, it's hackable. <laughs> you know, yeah, like well, yeah, yeah. people can get in there pretty easily. Yeah. And I do know that that was part of the Edward Snowden case. Right. The, the mm. NSA had the ability to do this. Yeah. YouTube. Hmm. Mm. Google owning YouTube. Mm. Pretty big evil company. I, look, I will say false because I would love for it not to be true. <laughs> yes, that's right. It was false. Yeah. Not not true. I feel and like. Also, I don't blame you for your hesitation. <laughs> yeah. I would say Google sure. are too smart to have done that. Uh. Yeah, it seems like too on the nose yeah. for um yeah, yeah, something like that. Um did Twitter have a clause allowing them to edit viral tweets from celebrities for marketing purposes? Oh. I could understand if they did for like um you know, if they want to use them in an ad or something but they've left an apostrophe or something off. Uh, yeah, yeah. Like I could imagine it on a billboard. Yeah. And like, yeah. I could imagine why they would want to do that. So I'll say yes. No, incorrect, no, Canva. Incorrect. That one was fake. Uh, X would do that. Very... X will X... change your tweet to whatever they want. X has done that, Canva. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did, uh, last one here. Did Google Maps have a term for preventing users from mapping private spaces? with offenders being removed from all Google services. So, so I, I don't understand. You're saying that Google Maps couldn't map private spaces or you're saying if it stopped them from? It's stopping, so let's say a user has, let's say they've got like a couple of acres of land yeah. or something. Yeah. Uh, it would stop them from mapping their own private land. Oh, through Google Maps. Yeah, got you, got you. And uh, and then therefore, it, and if they did or and got in trouble for it or whatever, then they would be removed from all Google services. Yeah, okay, yeah, understood. Hmm, this is an interesting one because th- this is only semi-related, but there is a tech YouTuber called Linus Tech Tips. Mm-hmm. Um, he does general tech stuff, you know, how to set this up and what, is this product any good? And he did a video which was, this is how you can run your whole life without having to use a single Google product. Here are like email alternatives. Here are browser alternatives. Here are all this kind of stuff. And Google removed it from YouTube. Whoa, that's controversial. (laughs) And they state the reason that they did that is because he advocated for a specific ad blocker which are technically against YouTube's terms of service. You're not allowed to have an ad blocker. Mm. But a lot of people have said, it seems like you're stopping the knowledge. It's hard to say, right? It's so difficult because they probably have the right, like if that had been Apple, right? Like, and it's all about how to go away without using Apple products. 
would anybody notice if it was removed for the same reason because he used a particular ad blocker that doesn't work with Apple? What you know, like oh, that's so it's so yeah. interesting. Anyway, so my point is, yeah, they are very invested in people being on Google. Yeah, and they do have their fingers in a lot of pies. So would they do this to someone? I, I will say yes. No, it's no, fake. Fake. Okay, yeah. that's good. I the reason why I. I sort of thought this one might be real to some degree is like i imagine the idea like they would want to prevent people from mapping other people's private spaces like let's say area 51 or something yeah. <laughs> as an extreme extreme case of being like i'm a civilian or disgruntled ex-employee and i've worked it out and i'm gonna map the entire area like i don't know anyway uh nelson is that how we get into area 51 we make a fake google maps van yeah we drive up to the gate Uh, like guys just just, we're gonna map this quickly just let us in will you (laughs) yeah yeah, you got any hangers we need to map hangers (laughs) yeah any underground uh (laughs) laboratories perhaps uh anywho that's it can be good work you got some i don't know <laughs> barely any yeah <laughs> no in the end i think you got maybe you got like 40 percent. that's something <laughs> that's something uh we let's not do the amen okay <laughs> 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 uh but if you'd like to write it you yeah. can do so reddit podcast r-e-a-d-i-t podcast at gmail.com you can also reach us at our subreddit, I almost got. I, I almost went straight. I saw to Facebook it in your again. eyes again. <laughs> God damn it! This is why we can't change pod napping. I'm so sorry, I, guys. It's already causing much uh, problems with my brain. Um, <laughs> you can reach us on our subreddit or our Discord. The link is in the show notes. Yeah. How about uh, this, Nelson? You yeah. say the old pod napping thing, but then I'll add. After you finish, I'll go. Nope. Just to let people know, <laughs> that's actually not true. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's good. We, yeah, we could do that. <laughs> um, yes, thank you for listening. Please rate the show, review the show, all that kind of stuff. Review, review, uh, we, review. we recently discovered, by the way, we're on IMDb. Oh, yeah, this yeah. show is on IMDb. We don't know why or where it came from, but uh, rate us on IMDb. <laughs> give yeah. us five stars. Give us five stars on IMDb. Oh, no, Let's I think get it's out of ten. Of so give us ten, IMDb. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Give us maximum marks, whatever yeah, that yeah. is. We want to be trending on our <laughs> TV. Uh, that's it. So thanks for listening, and we will read you later.